Hey, this is Joe with Personas. Today I want to show you one of my favorite little hidden features inside of the X-Trim plugin in Studio One. Here is a session. There is a clean little reverby guitar part that comes in right here at verse two. So I want to add X-Trim to this. By the way, I've been experimenting with this lately of adding plugins or inserts via key commands. So if you come up to Studio One keyboard shortcuts and then you search for add insert, you've got that as a command accessible to you here. I've mapped it to control I, I for insert. So when I'm in a session inside the mix, left and right arrows jump around between tracks. And when I get to the one that I want, I hit control I pops up a little menu. I can type in the plugin, which this is X trim. So I just press the letter X it's selected. I press enter and wham, bam, there it is. Now, if you're a guitar player or perhaps you play like a Wurlitzer, you probably know what a tremolo plugin is and what it does. It just adjusts the volume up and down at a certain pace. Um, you can set it to sync to the tempo of the song, or you can adjust it independently. Here is what that sounds like. I'll turn the reverb off on this guitar so you can hear it a little more clearly. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, cool. And we've got other options for different kind of shapes of that volume curve and even some different patterns we can put in. That's all well and good. I love a good tremolo, but I discovered this a few years ago, just clicking around, which we should all be clicking around just to make sure we don't miss some of these features, but right here on the tremolo, if we click on this mode button, it changes to pan, and I'm instantly intrigued. Wait, what do you mean pan? So here's what it sounds like in tremolo mode. What happens if I switch it to pan mode? <laughs> right? So it took the tremolo, the up and down, and just turned it on its side. So now it's left and right. So instead of volume, it's now stereo panning. So this one, the depth is at 100. So it's going hard right and then hard left and back and forth. But as we adjust the LFO speed, we get some really cool sounds out of it. Now that makes me a little dizzy. So I'd probably bring that back to something not a full 100%. So it resembles a little bit like a rotary speaker, which we have a rotary speaker plug-in in Studio One that adds all the other things that a rotary speaker does. But if you just want that kind of a subtle movement that feels like tremolo but gives you some cool stereo stuff happening, this is a great option. And obviously we can go nuts by turning it way up and way fast. Suddenly it becomes a kind of an interesting like sound design tool as well. So add this to your arsenal, go mess around with this on your next session. I bet you've got a track that would love to have some of this X trim on it in pan mode. Thanks for watching. See ya.